Holy Wiremod here with tutorial 26 in the Lewis series where we're going to be taking a look at adding a spawn point system for the game mode. So let's start by defining two global variables. The first one is going to be spawn points red, which is going to equal table, and then we're going to have spawn points blue. And that also will be a table, and that's going to contain all the vector spawn points. All right, so now let's go down, and we're going to make a chat command. So if you recall, we have the commands right here. But we're going to change this up a little bit. So we're going to put, instead of text to check for the message, we're going to use text table. And we're going to set that equal to string explode. And we're going to have the separator, this. And we're going to be exploding this, which is going to be lowercase. So everything's all right. So now we're going to change these from text table 1. And that's going to be the command itself, text table 1. OK? so simply replace all these and that will be just fine and now they work so now we need to take this else if and we are going to be changing this else if to our command so we're going to call this command set spawn and we're going to have a second argument to this command so that second argument is going to be checked and that second argument will be represented by two so we're going to say if we have the second argument and the second argument is nil then we do not want to proceed with this command because we're going to get a bunch of bad input. And let's also put a notification here. If you recall from prior tutorial, we have notify function. And we'll say invalid input for five seconds, and that's going to be an error. OK, so let's move on. So now we're going to create a file in the data folder right here. So we have all of our different data files right here. So we're going to put a folder called my game mode. As you notice, it doesn't exist, so we're going to have to create it like this, but first we're going to check if it does exist so we don't keep recreating the same directory. So we're going to say my game mode, and we're going to put that in the data. So we're going to check in the data, of course, and if it does not exist, then we're going to create this directory, which is called my game mode. And then, of course, we have data. All right, so now that we have the directory created, let's then set it to check if the file inside the directory is created. So we're going to say file exist, and we're going to say my game mode slash spawn points red dot text. And then we're going to have data because that's where we're storing it. Then, and we'll have else and end. So this one is going to be file right and this is uh, we're just going to copy and paste to save some time but we're going to be writing to this file a conversion from a string to a table or key, or key values in string form to a table but we're going to have a table in this case so we're going to say table to key values and we're going to write that to the file so what table are we using of course we're using spawn points red Okay, so now that we have that, let's go into the else, and we're going to say, if it does exist, spawn points red is going to be util, and instead we're going to do key values to table, and then we're going to say file read, and again we'll copy and paste that, and we'll put data. Okay, so now we have everything closed off looks good now let's copy and paste this and just change all these values for blue so we're going to have blue.txt and yeah you could have one text file it doesn't have to be uh, divided in red or blue for all the spawn points however for simplicity's sake I'm going to keep it as this so it makes it more clear what's going on okay so now we're going to have spawn point blue and that's good so we have that done now Let's go and do the actual second argument of the command, or implement this, and we're going to say string lower, and we're going to have the second argument, text table, two, and we're going to check, okay, is this argument, and it's, actually, you know what, we don't even need string lower, because it's already in lowercase, so let's keep it like that, but is this second argument equal to red? Else if if this second argument is equal to blue. And of course, remember to end. Okay, so is it equal to red? So table.insert, 
if it is equal to red, we're going to say spawn points red. That's the table we're inserting to. And we're going to put this in string form or else it will not write to the file. Then get, get position. And we're going to add a vector position and a Z axis. And that's going to be five Gmod units. And that's just to prevent the player from spawning in the floor. Okay, next we have file write because we want to save the table that we just created. And we're going to be using the same path right here. Shouldn't think to, might as well just copy and paste this because that's pretty much what we're doing. Okay, so now that we have that, let's then add the same thing for blue. And we'll just copy and paste this right here. And lastly, we want to notify the player that we added the spawn points. Four, and then this is where we're going to add the team, or the second argument. Okay, and then we want that for five seconds, and that will be generic. All right, so that's going to be everything for the init. Now let's get into actually making it to where the player spawns there. So you recall there's a round system, and the round system starts when there's two players on the server, and when the five second timer at the um, beginning or pre-round is expired. So when the five uh, second timer expires, then we want to start it right here when the round first becomes active. And this is where we're going to move our players into their spawn points, which we just defined in game. So we're going to say in pairs, and we're going to check for all the players. So we're going to say player get all. And for that, then we're going to go do, remember your end. So if player team is equal to zero and you recall that's going to be the red team because this is zero so if that's the case then we're going to say player then we're going to say set position vector spawn points red okay and then we're going to have math.random and we're going to get a random value from this table so we're going to say between one and the number of values and spawn points red okay and then we close that and we close that make sure everything is closed and that looks good and then we're going to do the same thing for blue and we're going to put an else if because we may have more than one team or more than two teams, so we don't want to just put else there. Okay, then we're going to change this to one because one is the color for blue. Okay, so that's going to be this. So let's go in game and see what happens. All right, so we're now in game. So let's go set up some spawn points. So I'm going to put the red team way over here. So let's type in our command set spawn red. As you can see it says added spawn point. Now let's set a spawn with nothing. Set spawn for nothing. Now let's set spawn for something invalid. All right, we even set spawns for something invalid. So of course you gotta check for those. That's uh, the whole point of me doing this, of course. So let's set spawn for red. And do one more for red. All right, so now let's go set up blue spawn points. And also, as you can see in, over here in the game mode, it created all the directories and we have the spawn points for red saves. We haven't created any for blue. So let's go set those up. All right, so let's set uh, blue right over here. So we'll say set spawn blue and I'm gonna copy and paste this to save some time. So we're gonna set spawn blue, set spawn blue and set spawn blue. All right, so now that we have all these set up properly, let's spawn a bot. And now the round's starting. And as you can see, both of us are on the blue team and we both spawned at the blue spawn points. Now let's see what it does for the next round. All right, now he is at the red spawn point. I'm at the blue spawn point, as you can see by the trails. And as I go over here, and as you can see, everything works fine. So I hope you enjoyed this. 
that explains everything for spawn points. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave so in the comments section below. And you guys are always welcome on our Discord server, which is uh, located right here. And if you like the content, as always, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.